Hey folks, we're down in the basement. Hey guys, we are in the basement. <laughs> For those of you who know who that is. <laughs> and we're taking a look at my networking equipment. You might notice something different uh, uh, from the last time I showed it. We have a new modem. That is a Motorola surfboard here. I have the box in this drawer here. Oh, that's a power line Ethernet adapter. There we go. We got one of these. Here's a Motorola, Motorola uh, surfboard modem with Doxus 3 cable support. So that's really nice. Uh, has four download and up, upload channels, and it supports IPv6. We got the model SB6121, and it's made the cable internet much, much faster. Mostly because uh, we were using this. This is what I like to call all reliable. This is an RCA Thompson modem that we've been using for years and years and years and years. This thing has been a trooper. It has never given me one ounce of trouble. I love this modem. It's I've never had to reset it for it being stupid. I've only had to reset it for issues with, uh, you know, connectivity to the router and connectivity to the uh, coaxial cable line itself. But yeah, this is old reliable. Uh, I love these modems, but. They're getting long in the tooth, and we were paying Comcast to rent this modem out anyway. So who wants to pay that eight bucks a month? So what I decided to do is to go out and buy a Motorola surfboard. This modem was about eighty dollars, and cable companies seem to not like to give these out anymore. They they give you you know modem gateways or those all in one boxes that do phone, TV, and internet all in the same thing, and I really don't like that. I like having my own equipment. I like having a separate modem. A separate router so I can run everything the way I want to. You know, I have a separate modem so that I can have my three DDWRT based Buffalo routers, you know, networking around the house. I have one down here, one in my bedroom, and one in the workshop for the uh, file server <clears throat> and various other tasks. And this is a much better deal. I think pay 80 bucks once, keep this modem for however long Doxis 3. Uh, remains a cable standard and then upgrade eventually instead of paying eight bucks or whatever a month to Comcasts. So they were bugging us to upgrade because of this thing still being a Doxus 2 modem. So we upgraded from this to this and the speeds are now up to 105 down, uh, which is crazy. I've never had speeds that fast. Although up in my bedroom it doesn't matter that much because I'm still bridged wirelessly. But down here on this computer, Oh boy, is it fast. <laughs> Assuming a web server is that fast to begin with. But what's nice about that is it allows more people to be online at the same time. So that's that's the problem we were having with this modem is that it was Doxus 2. So, you know, the amount of people using the internet at the same time would bog it down. This is much nicer. So I just thought I'd update you guys on the network setup. We got a Motorola surfboard modem. I highly recommend, if you can do this with your ISP, get your own equipment. It's just much better and much easier and tends to be more reliable if you know how to shop for this kind of stuff. So, there you have it, guys. I got me a modem. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.